hello welcome back once again my friend according to the paradigms of operation in a get and get up environments we have looked at a number of processes a number of ways of how we move from no git completely in our computer to actually having git you know so i uh, watched my video on the paradigms of uh, operation in a git environment uh, we have talked about a lot last time and that is the same architecture that we are going to use you know to set up our gate and the architecture is very simple we are going to break this same architecture down you know what you're seeing on the screen here we are going to break it down uh, according to how we you know we set it up you know from having no git in our local folder to downloading git and creating repository now we have created repositories we are now moving to the github we want to create a github and then later link our github to our local repository so that we can have a copy of our git repository on the github to form a github repository to share it with others so my friend uh, that is the mission for this video um, we have looked at the repository in a previous video as being a directory or folder containing program for tracking changes or events and that program is git itself and git repo you know you cannot have git you cannot use git without having a git repository so the local machine is always empty when i say empty i mean it is without git so you have to go on the internet and install the git program on your local machine in order to create a git repository and then when you create a git repository you can push it to your github to make a github repository remember github is completely different from git or git repository github is a a host for git repository it hosts git repositories so the git repositories that we create locally from here we push it to the github to be hosted there so github is a host is a server that is found on the internet to host our git repositories and those git repositories hosted in the github are called github repository so we have created our uh, local repositories on the on the on our machine and that's the git repository so now we are going to start configuring but before that um, we are going to you know to make sure we have a github account because we downloaded git on our machine and we set it up and we created the repositories uh, on our machine we have a git repository now but we are left with the github repository so to create github repository my friend that's where we need to open a github account by going to the internet and opening our github account so let us go to the internet together and try to you know to look for this github and you know open our github account so that we can create our github repository which is the mode repository outside our system but we will be linking to that github repository in order to share our codes with others on the internet so you need to go to the uh, go to google and type github and then boom github is there you can now click github code with us you can see how cool <laughs> I love, I love, I love the cool environment. This is where you feel like, wow, you are submerging yourself in the, in the environment of technology, my friend. I like the, I like, I like the environment. I like the color. You see, this is GitHub, my friend. So to get your GitHub, you just need to, to sign up. Signing in is when you have your GitHub account already. So you can click sign in and put your user credential there to gain access to github account but we haven't got account yet so we want to uh, sign up so that we can have our own github account so that we can create our github repository on this github uh, you know 
so you can see github they have a lot of things but i don't want to confuse you with all these services and all those kind of things so as a beginner you know let us be a beginner friendly so let's go straight and sign up for our first github account you can see these guys and you know they're welcoming us to get up welcome to github let's begin uh let's begin the adventure now so to register or to open your GitHub account, you just need to put your email. So I know I trust you guys. Uh, I, I trust you. I'm just going to use my personal email. I know it is not something that is advisable to do on the internet, but you know, we are living in an open world. <laughs> you cannot hide in the world of technology. So I'm just going to open my first GitHub account um, and uh, I have to use my personal details, of course, you know, to open this account. So I'm going to uh, write uh, my details there. Continue. And then the password. I'm going to type something very easy for us to remember. On. Yes. Password may be compromised. Yes, it may be compromised because it's very it's very predictable. So let me make it a bit unpredictable. Yeah, it's now strong. Let's continue. Uh, username is the, the name that you want to appear there on your account. I'm just going to uh, put put like uh, um, let me say uh, T squared skills. I'm just going to use my name, you know, Sam Git. Sam Git, you know, <laughs> Sam Git. Then we continue. Username Sam Git is not available. Okay. Now, Sam Git, Sam Git, you know, Git is so cool. GitHub is so cool. It's giving me suggestion as well. Sam Git engineer, Sam Git code, Sam Git. Uh, 783 are available. I'm going to choose some gate code, man. That is really cool. Some gate code, uh, yes, some gate code. Then we click continue. The email preference receive occasional product updates and announcement. Yes, of course. Then we continue verifying your account. verify your account please solve this puzzle <laughs> so we know you are a real person it could be a robot you know so where's the person now audio let's try which option is the sound of cat option one hello Option two. Option three. No. <laughs> option one. I'm going to type here. Option one. Option two. I uh, two. Dad, I'm not a robot, bro. I'm not a robot, my friend. So enter the code. So they have sent the code. Uh, where is the code? So we have sent. A launch code to your email so let me check my email um, sorry I'm not going to open it from there because I don't want to interfere our recording I'm just going to put here you know to save it on my computer because I use this computer by myself or I don't share it with anybody so let me grab the code and put it there to uh, actually verify this account uh, okay GitHub. Yes, I got the email. Is the code is seven three three two eight five nine two. Yes, that's our code. Oh, my friend, look, we have created a sort of protect password with Windows. So, my friend, look, this is your account was created successfully. Please sign in to continue. Just the sign because I've created I've clicked to save or uh, to save my password previously. That's why you see the password has been 
are replicated here automatically. So let us just sign in. Welcome to GitHub, my friend. We have created our GitHub account. <laughs> uh, we are glad you are here. Look at that, man. It's so cool. This will help us. Okay, there's something here, you know, like you can personalize, skip personalization. This will help us guide you to the tools that best suit for, suited for your projects. How many team members will be working with you? Oh, my friend, I don't know for now. Okay, just me. And uh, are you a student or teacher? I would say I am an instructor. <laughs> are you a student or teacher? I would say I'm an instructor, which is basically a teacher. So let's continue from here. What specific features are you interested in? Collaborating code, automation, security client app you can see a lot of things project management i am interested in collaboration i'm interested in project management because they are agile team you know the scrum team that i i lead and uh, team administrator as well okay being like a scrum master and the community i love that you know you know, this option is, they are optional. You are not supposed to do it, but for me, I'm just doing it to, to make them actually, you know, personalize my, my needs. <laughs> so free, they are free version of Git, you know, like free, unlimited public, private repositories. You can have unlimited repositories, my friend. Trees. 500 of package storage, free. 120 core hours of code space com compute for free 15 gigabyte of data of code space storage for free and the community support my friend look at what git gives github i'm sorry it's github so get additional teachers benefits you know if i want a lot more in addition of what they have already given me for free then I can go with that, you know, then they will give me more benefit. Maybe I will have to pay some money for that. But I want to continue for free for now because I just want to do this as a demo. My friend, we are now on the GitHub. Look, we are on the GitHub, my friend. This is the GitHub. This is the host for our Git repositories. Now... If you want to create our repository, you see this button here? Create repository. You know, create repository. So let us create our repository now. Start writing the code. We can also write code here. Start a new repository for some, some Git code. <laughs> a repository contains all of your project's file, revision history, and collaborator discussion you see what repository will, will will contain you can see a lot of things my friend there are many many things that you can learn from github man so let us create our repository and i'm going to name this um uh, remember we created a local repository before uh, a github repository on our local machine but right now we are not on our local machine we are now sitting on a github which is the server for hosting the Git repository. So I'm just going to create one repository and I'm going to give it a name as um, starter, yeah? A starter repository, starter. Starter is available. So I'm going to make it public, yeah? Let me say some code, some code. Some code, some code is available as well. So some Git code, some Git code repository is available. So I'm going to make it public so that we can share it together. If I make it private, I will have to choose who to uh, have access or to view my repository. But I want to make it public, my friend. So some Git code, read me. Introduce yourself with Git profile. 
you know so I'm just going to create a new repository here so to do that we just go ahead and create my friend look uh, some git code repository has been created and now we can get started with git you can add people here to collaborate on this repository and my friend as you can see there are ways that github give us you know you know guide us to set up our git my friend to create a new repository on the command line my friend this is how to create a git repository on the command line now i can go to my computer and link my folder or create a github repository on my local machine by using these this url so this my friend will link me straight to my github repository look we can copy that or push an existing repository from the command line if i have the repository like the ones i've created and i want to push it over to, to the github i can use this command here to push it to my github so let us try to do that let's go to i'm not going to do that now i will do that later after configuring the local github because for now i just wanted to show you how to create your github uh, github repository so now i have created my own github repository you see i got repository one you know some git code this is the repository we will be sharing when you click it it will take you to a lot of things where you can get started with git copilot i can invite people to come and join me there's a lot of things you can see the pull request there if there's any welcome to pull request there's none at the moment and the new pull request can be sent by just creating new pool there if there are issues you know like to 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 to, to be sorted out raised by the team uh, i can check that issue from here but for now there's none welcome to issues there's no issues we have just created our, our repository and then the code when you click there my friend you know um you can see this some git code is is obviously a public git and uh everybody who would like to you know to join me or at github can can come and see whatever i'm doing on my git you can also set it on your desktop if you want you know directly so that you can be able to um you know to uh to link to the git so to do that i just i can copy this http hey ssh it you know using uh using my command line 